Have you ever had the chance to see your favorite band or artist live in concert? Been lucky enough to have that experience. Let us know in the comments below what's your favorite concert you've ever seen? What's the best show you've ever been to? And if you could see one show, one bucket list show, who would that be? Who do you absolutely have to see in concert in your lifetime? Let us know. I'd love to see uh, what you guys say in the comments below. Because that's what we're doing today. We are on a road trip right now. We're driving five hours to the Gorge in Washington, USA. Beautiful venue. Pretty iconic. And we're going to see the living legend Stevie Nicks. Pretty stoked for this. Um, yeah, it's going to be a great show. I'm a big Stevie fan. Got a Stevie portrait on my shoulder. So I was like, I got to go to the show. Got to go for this opportunity. What kind of fan would I be if I get the tattoo and I don't go to see her? So that's what we're doing today. It's going to be pretty cool. Thanks for joining us. So we stopped in Seattle on the way, checking out the Space Needle here. I love the Space Needle. I felt like the dad in the group. I was like, we gotta go to the tourist attraction, guys. We gotta stop. <laughs> you definitely are. So anyways, here we are at the Space Needle. And speaking of amazing tourist attractions, uh, the venue that we're going to see tonight, the Gorge, is almost as much of attraction an attraction in itself as the artists who play there. You know, like I'm super excited to see this venue. I've always always wanted to check it out in person. I'm really curious to see how it compares to Red Rocks Amphitheater, which is another one of those like amazing outdoor uh, venues, you know. I was lucky enough to perform at Red Rocks in 2016. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing how the gorge compares to it tonight. I've heard great things. I've heard it's pretty beautiful. So yeah, we'll see. Stopping in this uh, German, German town, town on the way, it's called Leven Levenberg. No, it's Leavenworth. Leavenworth. <laughs> I'm getting everything wrong today. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's super cool here. Yep. Bavarian style. It's like we're in town. Germany, kind of. Rita, what's your favorite concert you've ever been to? Um, can I choose two? Sure. Okay. Uh, one of the most, well, I guess I was going to say most recent, but it's not that recent, was Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga was good. We saw her, what, two, three years ago? A little more than that. pre-pandemic. Our buddy it Ricky was... plays guitar for her. That was a great show. It was on the, what was the album? The one with Jolene? No, it's not Jolene, it's Joanne. Joanne, yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> oh my I'm God. sorry, La <laughs> Lady Gaga, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then one of my all-time favorites has to be Whitney Houston, because I saw her, like, right before she died. Nice. And it's just so memorable. It was one of my first concerts. Excellent choices. We're stopping to get gas here. This is so beautiful. Oh my god. Uh, I think my favorite show I've ever been to, my favorite concert was Roger Waters doing The Wall. Roger Waters and Pink Floyd. Uh, he came to Vancouver twice on that tour when he was doing it. And I went both times and it was just amazing. Like music at its finest, seriously. Uh, nothing like going to a good show. And uh, really excited for the one tonight. Super impressed with the venue here. Like, this is actually just one of the, the most beautiful places. It's one of those places you just feel the magic. Like, it's pretty much impossible to capture it in video. But man, like the stage with the giant river behind it, and just like this huge grass hill that we're on. There you go. You can see 
a bit better. Man, this is awesome. So yeah, we got our seats here, and uh, I like your hat, by the way. Very. Uh, Thanks. Am I very Stevie next today? You really dressed up for the show. I, I respect that. I did not dress up. <laughs> but I am warm because I get cold very easily and I got two hoodies and a jacket on so I'll be all right do you have a favorite Stevie Nicks song the edge of 17 obviously nice I think it's just edge of 17 oh, so get it right okay <laughs> just, my favorite is uh, dreams which is technically Fleetwood well, it's Mac. Not, yeah, it's not Stevie. That's favorite Fle my favorite Stevie Nicks solo song is leather and lace Ooh. The Good duet, choice. duet Good with choice. Don Henley, beautiful. You know, I feel like I play so many concerts myself. It's always nice to come to one in the audience and just kind of reconnect with that side of music. So I'm really excited for tonight. Also, I'm sliding in this hill, so I might end up on stage. What you have. day after the show, we're driving back home now. Rita's sleeping in the back seat. And uh, anyways, I thought the show was great. I really did. I thought they sounded awesome. I thought the set list was perfect too. It was exactly the songs you'd want to hear, you know, all the hits. The venue itself was amazing. I was super impressed with the whole Gorge amphitheater atmosphere. It was seriously beautiful. It really reminded me of seeing the Grand Canyon when I went there a few years ago. So it's awesome when you can tie in a great musical show with an awesome venue, you know. It just makes it that much more special, that much more cool. I really hope I get to perform there in a concert someday myself, but attending a show was really great. In terms of comparing it to Red Rocks, I, would, I was thinking about it. I think they're on par, personally. I think they're both at the same level of epicness. Red Rocks is maybe more of a concentrated, cool area, cool stuff everywhere you look, versus the Gorge, it's more like one giant epic thing, more like more of a spread out epicness, if that makes sense. But yeah, both venues are great. Both venues I feel every person should, every person should see a show at in their lifetime. So yeah, seriously no complaints. It was just so good, the sound was great. It, actually, you know what, if I had to say a complaint, it might just be, we were sitting in the general admission area in the back, and we were so far back from the stage, it was a little hard to see, you know, because of how far back we were. Even with the screens, it was a bit tough to see, and, you know, that might be the only complaint. So, going to a show again at that venue, I might pay a little more to sit closer to the front. It's a really big area, so if you are at the very back, as we were, you're pretty far from the stage. But that way you do get to take in more of the, more of the scenery that way, so it's kind of a give and take. Anyway, the whole thing was just awesome. I'm, you know, it's the day after and I'm feeling like I'm on such a high right now from seeing it. And I think we're all feeling that way here in the car. Um, yeah, it was awesome. Anyways, thanks for checking out another video today. More on the way. I'm Lonnie Eagleton. We'll see you next time.